So Tony, welcome back to St Mirren. Um, you've obviously had your time here on the pitch and in the dugout. Now that sort of different role for you now. How are you finding it so far? Yeah, it's great to be back first and foremost. I think it's um, just what I expected to be honest. Uh, it's been a hectic week. Um, just a lot of new things, um, which is exciting as well. But just generally try to get to know everybody and get to know what they do at the club um, and what they are like as people, different stuff like that. And that will be the ongoing process for the next two weeks. But you don't get much time to do that, although I'm going to make the time for that because there's so... And I can understand why Brian at times, I see them so stressed. <laughs> there's so much different variations of stuff that come in to deal with. Uh, but I must admit, the people have been fantastic here. They're, you know, from yourself, James, to everybody that works at the club, they've got a great positivity about the club, want the club to be back in the Premier League, everybody, uh, and that's what we're aiming Do you think it's important um, for the people within the club and yourself to have this positive attitude? Um, you know, you've got your players on the pitch and that's kind of the main focus is what happens on the pitch, but having a positive attitude throughout the football club? You've got it. I mean, it's about, um, as you say, the fans and the team's the most important in terms of if you've got a winning team, then success comes. But it starts in here. It starts with everyone that works at the club. Uh, do they really want to be in the Premier League? Do they want to be, a, not just being in the Premier League, do they want to be a top four club in the Premier League, which this club did many years ago? Wasn't it too long ago till we were winning cups and being in the Premier League? So that has to start from the front door. As soon as people, this is a family club, this is a community club. We want it to be a happy club as well. We want to enjoy the journey with each other. Of course, there's going to be hard times like any family. We, we'll have fallouts, we'll have cuddled each other to get through times, hard times, good times. But really, for the front door, as soon as, as, soon as somebody walks in that front door, they want to see him. We've got that with Janice there, and we've got Linda in the office, and uh, I could go through all the names, but there's not enough tape to go through what the people do. But they have to be positive, yeah. And they have to believe. It's not just falseness, because people pick that up. We have to be all be and working together in the same direction to get this club back up where it belongs. So... You said there about it wasn't that long ago that the club was winning trophies and whatnot. Yeah. It's less than three years coming up for the third anniversary of the League Cup win. Mm -hmm. Do you think football kind of goes in cycles and, and peaks and troughs and maybe at the moment so it's just at kind of the lower end of the scale but things will pick up again? Yeah, it seems to be in life people say that but I don't totally agree with that. I'll be honest with you, I think you make things happen. See for it, you sit about then and wait for the next 10 years when St Myrna are going to be good in another 10 years then or we're going to produce this and that. I, th I believe you've got to grasp your dreams and take action on it. We can all sit and talk and say, why should we do this? And But I know what you say, people do believe cycles. You know, good teams come, the club will do well for 10 years, then it'll dip. But the important thing now is I think what we've got to do, if we want to be a world-class business and a world-class club, there's, I call it the, the Ferguson curve, the Alec Ferguson curve. And in business, they call it the Sigmoid curve. There's development, the development stage, which, to be fair, is the club's been through. And there's sort of, you'll have your ups and downs, and then there's the growth. But very important when it comes to maturity. And that's every 10 years or so, or every five years with your plans. Then you've got to sort of really change everything. People don't want that, but you've got to, or you will go into decline. And if I'm being honest, being harsh, I think we've tipped over from maturity into decline. No, it's not impossible to flick that back up. And we've got, and it's no Tony Fitzpatrick, it's just going to do that. Hopefully we're all leaders in the, the club and we're all uh, willing to put that extra in. I know everybody does at this club anyway, but hopefully a bit of direction as well. Um, we want to make this club a world-class club. And what I mean by that is, is on a part would be fantastic as well, but what we give to support us, you know, pursuing excellence all the time and everything. And yes, 
maybe we can wait for an hour ten years and we might be a good Premier League club again or whatever. But we can't wait a bit. It's now. We've got to get this club back up now. And we've got the, the staff in here to do it. Already I've been in a short time, but I see great energy. I see great creativity in here. So uh, I, I'm really confident about the future of something. So you're saying there you're very confident about the future. Yeah. Potential for growth, what do you feel? Do you feel like with the whole Paisley 2021 bid that that that's opens up so much more possibilities for this club? James, that excited me. That was part of the reason coming in as well, because I'm a great believer in St Mum, but also when Paisley were going to go for the city status again, I thought, you know what, what a time to grow the club as well. Not just with St Mum supporters, which we want to do, but there's a big wider community as well. And we've all got to have pride in our city. Hopefully it's going to be that. And pride in my football club. And it's, I'm not saying we haven't got that yet with the football club because there's a lot of people really proud of this football club but if we're being honest a lot of people have went to different places when I, and again I think we've got to, I shouldn't even be mentioning them but they're in Brayhead, the Brayhead clan I've seen they're getting as big as crowds as St Mum I think you've got to look at their model what are they doing differently you, you will look at the models they all different uh, market models how people are doing it but there's one thing about this club as we know, it's well over 100 years old and it will always be here. And I'm not having a go at Brayhead Clam when I'm saying this because I, I love the, their model, but they're a franchise. They could leave at any time. We'll no, we're not leaving. We're here forever. And it's important, the community, we're the heart of this community and it's important that happens again. And, for, and I made the comment, and I meant it at the time, when a baby's born in Paisley, the first thing it gets in its hand is an invitation to St Mum. And I really mean that. I mean, um, and that's going to happen. I'm going to make sure that happens. Might not be the, the number one priority right now, but everybody is born in Paisley, Renfrewshire. Their first thoughts should be about St Mum. So that's obviously going to be a long-term aspiration of yours here. If you're in this office at the moment, we were looking at the picture that's just over here, Fantastic. 1987. Um, you were part of that team, yes, I was. came on as a substitute that day, yeah. won the Scottish Cup. Yes. You know, is that a name of yours while well, you're in charge here? Win a cup and, and see that way that Paisley is when when you win a cup, the, the streets are aligned. Exactly. Is that something you're desperately hoping to achieve? No, definitely hoping that I will achieve. And we will achieve here there, what it says there, my responsibility is leadership. And at the minute I get negative, that is going to have an influence on my team. And the minute we all become negative, it becomes an influence in the whole club. And we, we, we can't allow that. As I say, I think it's very, very important. Uh, I know it's going to happen. And you're right, there's longer term plans. But I'm a great believer uh, in five years. I always think that. And I think it goes in like that five years. So it is a sort of longer term plan but I believe in my heart this club will be in the Premier League within that time and will be in the top four of the Premier League I believe we will be challenging for trophies and things like that now people say I am a dreamer at times but I've dreamed about being a professional footballer I became it I dreamed about being a manager at St Mum I became it I've dreamed about Owning the club, I've not done that yet, and maybe one day as in the fans can, because I'm a fan, do that. So I'm not just a dreamer. I would like to think without blowing my own trumpet, I've achieved in business, I've achieved in career, and that I want to try and bring that to St Mum Football Club. Um, and as, as I say, I'm excited about it, but I've been paisley going for the city. I think there should be a real buzz about the place. and uh, But I still believe... This club is the heart of the community and uh, and it's getting people. An 8,000 seat and we can't fill it. That tears me apart when I sit there and watching 8,000. And we're not asking 8,000 season ticket holders because there's an away support that has to be done. But we're talking about, we're struggling to fill that stadium, a beautiful stadium like that. So we've got to give them a club. The supporters, the, the, the sort of, there is... Two and a half thousand real loyal supporters or so that come all the time. But we need to make that grow now. 
I looked away back. I know life's changed, but there's ways we can do things. But life's changed. Um, we were getting crowds of 14, 10, 14,000. So why shouldn't we? Are we ought to give up? Are we ought to say, oh, well, you know, St Mirren now we're quite happy to stay in the first division. Or we'll just we'll try and get in the Premier League. We'll try this and that. I'm sorry, I'm not here for that. People say, and I, and I see, I will look at things, and I'm delighted to do say it about me. Uh, I'm a nice person. Is Tony too nice for the, the for that? Well, no, I'm no. I'm a nice person, but I've got the streak in me. I've got the ambition in me to make decisions. What well, I want to take this club to the, the top again. Not just me. Everybody, I'll do that.